Oh, my name is uh, Tagani. Uh, today we'll see on step by step uh, construction of uh, population pyramid. As you know, population pyramid is very important to see the A6 structure of a country. Uh, it also shows the effect of uh, fertility, mortality, and migration. As you know, uh, population dynamics is created uh, because of these three major factors. Um, fertility will increase populations, mortality will decrease the populations, migration may increase or decrease the number of population. Uh, we will see later on, but uh, uh, the parts of the population pyramid represents the percentage contribution of uh, the number of the population. Uh, for instance, here, as you see, the, this is a population pyramid of uh, Ethiopia for the year 2022. So those parts will represent the percentage of uh, the population or the number of the population. So that uh, one can easily understand whether the population is uh, young or old by seeing the population pyramid. Here, as you see, the larger the majority of the population of Ethiopia in the year 2022, which is the current, uh, is around here. So that uh, the below age 29 will account for uh, more or most of uh, the country's population. On Sussex, uh, the, this age group represents uh, around 70% um, of the population in Ethiopia. So it is a young population, so that the younger, the young populations, the base of the pyramid become very wide. So it takes a tri triangular shapes. Um, it takes a triangular shape, but if it's all older populations, uh, it seems like an inverted triangle. So uh, the, the older age group become very higher than that of the young age group. So during construction of population pyramid, uh, the mills uh, most of the time uh, is constructed on the left side, whereas the uh, females are uh, constructed uh, in the right side. So this is a conventional agreement actually. Uh, so when you see the, the lower bars, the lower bars represent the younger populations, the higher bars here as you see, represents the older age group so that uh, the younger populations will be at the lower and the older population will be uh, at the higher. So that, uh, as I said earlier, by seeing the parcel, the, the, the picture of the population pyramid, you can see whether that country has a very high fertility rate or you can easily say that uh, this population is expensive or it may increase in the future. For instance, the population in Ethiopia is highly expensive, higher fertility, so that in the future, the number of the population will be uh, increased very much. So that it has um, an increasing potential for uh, the future. So that how do we construct this population pyramid using Excel? So I will show you a step-by-step -step guide. So let's go to the Excel. Actually, there are steps to construct a population pyramid. And the first and most important step in constructing population pyramid is that preparing the data. So as I said earlier, the male data is uh, con uh, prepared on the left side, on the left column, and the female data is, um, will be uh, on the right side here, as you see, this is a male data, this is a female data, so that the female is on the right side of the male. And the other one is uh, age construction. Uh, actually, you, 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 can, you can prepare your data as you like. Um, so that here, as you see, the conventional age structure of a population uh, will be five year from zero to four year, five to nine. This is a conventional age 
uh, group category. So that uh, this is my data. Actually, I took this data from um, the United Nations population data sources from um, uh, this site, this website. So that I put this website uh, address into uh, my YouTube uh, channel description. So you can access that not only, not only the data of Ethiopia, but also you can access the data of uh, the global data for every country, regions, and so on. So this is uh, the conventional um, uh, age and sex preparation of data for uh, uh, population pyramid construction. So that this is uh, the, the most, um, most important, the first step of um, the data preparation. Uh, the second step uh, uh, is that um, just to put a negative sign uh, on one of the data, particularly the data which will be presented on the left side should have a negative sign just for convenience. It, it doesn't mean that it, it will change the value of or the value or the number of the population, but uh, to have a direction so that our pyramid should be shown uh, on both directions, okay? Just for that purpose, we'll put negative signs here, as you see on, the, on my Excel data, so that uh, there will be negative signs uh, on, um, uh, on each data, so that uh, here, as you see, uh, all of my cells have a negative sign. So the other data uh, will be kept as it is. So this is the second step. And the third step is constructing the population pyramid. So I will show you how. First, you will select the whole of your data. Uh, and then uh, here, as you see, you need to select a bar chart from chart choices you have on the Excel. And then uh, we'll see the other steps. So that the chart you want, you should have to choose is that um, here, as you see, uh, it is a two-dimensional bar chart. So I will choose stacked bar chart so that it will give me uh, this kind of um, uh, this kind of chart so that uh, this is the second step the third step so the the other the for the the fourth step is that editing as uh, as we want so that um, here we will have to edit the chart options. So when you click the bars, you will get a right uh, You have to click the bars, then uh, go to format plot areas. Then uh, you will get uh, mm, okay. I think uh, we we'll have to do it again. Yeah, I get it now. So that uh, on the chart plot areas here, as you see on the Excel, you will get those kinds of options. So that I will click series options. So on the series options, there are two uh, primary and secondary axes. Since uh, we have only primary axis, we will uh, leave it as a default. Then we'll go to the series overlap option. So that this overlap option should be, as you know, uh, it should be 100%, so that's correct. Then the, 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 the series overlap means that these two bars should be uh, just like this, okay? So uh, there shouldn't be imbalance between the two bars, so that uh, the, it should be, um, 100% overlap, okay? And the other one is uh, gap width between the two bars, so that the two bars should be 
uh, shouldn't have any gap between the two bars so that we will make this gap with to zero percent so when we make it zero percent uh, we will get uh, uh, this kind of chart okay and the other one is um, the other the second step is on on the number here as you see on the x axis you will get negative signs here because those negative signs comes from the excel data here and negative signs so that we have to delete those negative signs from our chart okay so to do this we'll go i will click the numbers then those numbers should be uh, edited in with the first i will make custom here on the category i will choose custom then there are multiple options on the format code so that to have a whole positive number we have to make zero semicolon zero then we have to make it add so that uh, it will be added on the type uh, box so here as you see we have just the negative signs are already changed to positive okay so these are the the addition on the step four the other addition is on the label section so that um, category is within the chart area so that's inside the chart area so that you can move this uh, edge category to on the left side or on the right side so you can edit here by first you have to click uh, this axis so it is uh, you have to click the axis and you can go to the label section so under the label sections um, uh, you will get label position okay so that within the label positions you can uh, uh, this position is called uh, position next to axis high is on the right side okay a low is on the left side so that uh, you can make uh, the y-axis on the left side so that 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 means that uh, you have to uh, choose low. There are also option to remove uh, the edge category, but since it's very important and descriptive, so it explains uh, the, the bars. So it's very important to put it as, as you want, like this or all in the center. Okay. Uh, so you can make also other uh, just um, other uh, editions on your chart. Okay. So uh, these are the uh, the publishing pyramid of it yet. Yeah. Okay, the population pyramid of the pair for the year uh, 2022. So if you have any questions, you can uh, send me uh, through uh, my YouTube on the comment uh, sections. Thank you very much.